Dear students, welcome to our science episodes. Today we are going to continue discussing chemical equation and chemical reactions. Now we know everything about the chemical equation. We're going to discuss chemical reactions. The first is the direct combination reactions, where two or more elements react directly with each other to form a new compound. It's very easy. A plus B, it gives AB. So, element A or substance A with element B, it will give a very new substance, which is the AB. An element with another element, a metal with a non-metal, magnesium plus oxygen, heat, it gives magnesium oxide. And this is the symbolic equation as usual. A non-metal with a metal, carbon plus oxygen. Heat also, it will give carbon dioxide. And this is the symbolic equation as usual. An element with a compound, carbon monoxide plus oxygen. In the presence of heat, it, they will give carbon dioxide. 2CO plus O2, in the presence of heat, they will produce 2 carbon dioxide or CO2. A compound with another compound, ammonia plus hydrochloric acid, concentrated hydrochloric acid, this will give ammonium chloride, NH3, which is the ammonia, plus hydrochloric acid, HCl, concentrated. This will give NH4Cl, which is ammonium chloride. Let's watch this activity. If you place a glass rod, which is wet with hydrochloric acid, concentrated hydrochloric acid, Close to the mouth of a test tube containing ammonia solution. You will find white clouds of ammonium chloride forming. Look to this. This is the white cloud of ammonium chloride formed due to the reaction of ammonia solution with concentrated hydrochloric acid. A direct combination reaction takes place as a conclusion, between the ammonia, the NH3, and the hydrochloric acid, the HCl, forming ammonium chloride. So substance A plus substance B, it will form AB compound, which is a new compound. And here is the symbolic equation as usual. Chemical reactions in our life. Chemical reactions play an essential role in our life. Turning less used substances to useful substances. Providing heat and electricity required for many industries. So what are the industries that depend on chemical reactions? Fertilizers, fuel, plastic, car batteries, as well as food industries. But what do you think? Do these chemical reactions have a negative effect on our environment? Let's see together. Yes, these chemical reactions also have negative effects, such as producing emissions that pollute the environment. Burning fuel and cellulose fibers, like paper and cigarettes, pollute the environment by producing harmful gases, such as carbon oxides. These carbon oxides are greenhouse gases, which trap the thermal radiations from the sun and increase the atmospheric temperature. Gases produced from burning fuel, the carbon oxides, like carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, sulfur oxides, like sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxides, nitrogen oxides, now, what is the harmful effects of burning fuel and cellulose fibers? Pollution and lung cancer. Carbon monoxide gas can cause headache, 
fainting, severe stomach aches, and may lead to death. Carbon dioxide gas has greenhouse effect. It traps the heat radiation in Earth atmosphere, causing increase in Earth temperature. Sulfur oxides like sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide are acidic gases, causing respiratory systems malfunctioning and building corrosion. Nitrogen oxides normally resulted at the time of lightning. They are poisonous acidic gases that result from the reaction of nitrogen and oxygen, and they affect the nervous system and the eyes. Now it's time for questions. Complete the following chemical equations. 2 magnesium plus O2 in the presence of heat. Yes, it will give 2 magnesium oxide. What plus hydrochloric acid, HCl, will give ammonium chloride in H4Cl, ammonia, and H3? 2 molecules of carbon monoxide plus what in the presence of heat will give 2 carbon dioxide molecules, oxygen. Write the scientific term. Poisonous acidic gases result during lightning due to the reaction of nitrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen oxide. Two or more elements react directly with each other to form a new compound. Direct combination reactions. Thank you. Dear students, thank you for watching and see you later in other science episodes.